winning my first world championship in 2002 was a big was a big milestone for me because I, I came really close in 2001 and it came down to the 10th round and I had to just basically get a score to win the world and win the average and I failed to do so and so I had 365 days to think about being back in that situation it came down to the 10th round and I had to win the 10th round to win the world and so it made it really satisfying oh and what a perfect ride he sticks on this one In the rough stock, you know, a lot of guys get beat up and sore. Uh, for me, fortunately, I always felt like I went into it in pretty good shape. And so by the time the seventh, eighth, ninth round came around, I was sort of really in riding shape and had all the soreness worked out and was ready for more. He rode him like he owed them. It is hard to win one world championship and, and to follow it up with with two or more is, is really hard because everything has to go right. So if you're Bobby Moats, you're in a great spot. You know, the key is uh, don't make a mistake at the gate. Make it to the whistle yeah. and you got world championship number three. The thing about Pro Rodeo is whatever it took to win last year won't be good enough this year. And so you have to constantly be evolving and trying to improve and and I went a couple of years where I wasn't maybe necessarily doing that. And so I, I didn't win any more world championships until I was ready to, to sort of make some changes and get better. He makes it look so easy.